There is no cure for kidney disease, but a transplant offers hope for a long life. Some people chose to become living donors, and for one Quebec woman, it was a decision that changed many lives. Here's Denise Roberts. Joanna Love and Annie DeVoe may seem like old friends, but less than a year ago they were strangers until a crisis brought them together. During the pandemic, Joanna was suddenly sick and couldn't seem to recover, so she went for tests. They said that I have severe kidney disease and I would be needing a transplant. <laughs> she was put on dialysis while waiting for a match. I was told five to six years, which, you know, you go, okay. That's, that's what I'll do, because you have a family and that's what you do. At the same time, Annie DeVoe was grieving the loss of her mother. She was inspired when she heard the story of an anonymous kidney donor on the radio. She contacted Transplant Quebec and went to the MUHC for tests to see if she would be a good match for someone. The desire was to give someone life since I didn't have any children, I didn't have that luck. Uh, I wanted to give life back. That was my way to do it. After many tests, she was approved, but she only had one condition. I don't want my kidney to go to Vancouver or Halifax. I want my kidney to stay here in Quebec. Love said she was ecstatic when she was told a match had been found. When she found out it would be from a living donor and a stranger. What kind of person does this? This is an extraordinary person. This is someone who thinks of others. In Quebec, only 10% of transplanted organs come from living donors, far below the national average. Living donor kidneys have a longer lifespan, according to Dr. Asen Alam, and a person can live a healthy, active life with one kidney. The goal for us is to make sure, one, that uh, they're motivated by themselves to be a living donor. We don't want any pressure or coercion or, or influence to, to, to make their decision. Um, and uh, the second is that they should be healthy. Both had their surgeries at the Royal Victoria Hospital, though they didn't know the other was there. Contact is prohibited unless both parties want to meet. The women wrote letters to one another and then got together. We, we hugged for so long. <laughs> We're the perfect match. We are. Denise Roberts, CTV News.